Hello and welcome to the Intel Graphics Performance Analyzer's Deep Dive Graphics Trace Analyzer video series. This video will open and explore a trace capture file while highlighting user interface features in Graphics Trace Analyzer to pinpoint CPU and GPU activity based on the captured platform and hardware metrics. While in Graphics Trace Analyzer, open a trace capture file by either double-clicking on the image thumbnail or by pressing the Open button once your trace file is selected. When a trace is opened for the first time, Graphics Trace Analyzer displays the default layout with the most eligible data shown in the timeline. Any user-specified layout changes to a specific trace file will be preserved by Graphics Trace Analyzer. This allows you to tailor your layout to each specific trace capture and the layout will be saved for each successive time the trace file is opened in Graphics Trace Analyzer. The right panel of Graphics Trace Analyzer displays all the trace content captured in that specific trace file. This includes performance events captured from a target process, processes contributing to GPU activity within that trace capture period, and essential performance data captured from the entire system within that period. The elements in this panel can be visualized in the timeline of Graphics Trace Analyzer. Events showing thread activity, events showing GPU utilization, other events reside within the process threads. You can toggle on and off visualization of these elements by clicking on their names. In the dark color scheme, Blue text indicates timeline visualization is enabled for that element, and gray text of an element indicates that timeline visualization is disabled for that element. In the light color scheme, it would be normal or bold rather than gray or blue. It's important to note that toggling off parent elements will disable timeline visualization for all child elements that follow it. The left panel displays a track description consisting of the name of the content for that track and the name of the process or platform that the track belongs to. Both the left and right panels can be resized by clicking on the control boundary and then by dragging the panel until it is resized to your liking. Graphics Trace Analyzer visually represents a variety of different track types, including Aggregated CPU activity, which reflects thread execution on CPU cores used to analyze thread execution order, execution duration, and distribution between CPU cores. Hardware GPU queue consists of all video adapters generating graphics content and visualizes GPU utilization over time, including execution of direct memory access packages on the GPU. Flip queues contain all active video adapters and reflect the relationship between the application's present calls, present packages of GPU and CPU queues, and vertical synchronization events of the monitor, otherwise known as vSync events. CPU frames display the range containing graphics commands between two successive frame buffer swap calls. Device context queues demonstrate rendering command packages formed by a user mode graphics driver for each graphics rendering created in the scope of a process. The content of each device context queue depends on the hardware, graphics driver, and graphics API used for rendering. Threadscope debug and ITT regions and markers display the result of user-defined instrumentation of profiled applications matched with performance data generated by the system. Application threads containing captured performance events have a thread activity zone above the track. This thread activity zone contains a small green line in the intervals where the track thread is active. There are several GPU and CPU metric processes that can be visualized in the timeline of Graphics Trace Analyzer. In order to visualize metrics within Graphics Trace Analyzer, the user must have enabled them in Graphics Monitor or System Analyzer before recording a trace capture. The timeline can visualize an unlimited number of CPU and GPU metrics. Hovering over the metrics bar graphs in the timeline will display various metrics data throughout the course of the trace capture. Also note that the scale for each metrics track can be changed in order to zoom either in or out to get a better view of metrics with a more drastic range of data values. The event markers are organized according to the provider, for example, ETW providers on Windows. If you're interested in learning more about how to identify and analyze problem areas in your applications to distribute workloads evenly across CPUs and GPUs, continue watching our Trace Analyzer Deep Dive video series. Thank you for watching. 
Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for new exciting GPA updates and get started optimizing your games today.